I'm Professor Michael Fuller, St. Louis Community College, Merrimack Campus. Students have been working with me for one month to finish an archaeological dig at 700 North 1st Street in downtown St. Louis, a section of the city named Laclede's Landing, just north of the large bridge called Eads Bridge crossing the Mississippi River. We've removed about 20 cubic meters of matrix, of soil, of dirt, of rock, of rubble, to get all the way down to close to bedrock in this excavation area. We dug a trench 2.5 by 5 meters in dimension, and the purpose was to hopefully find evidence of either the early French city or of the Native American communities that we know lived in this area a thousand years ago. What we discovered was that in the 1820s, 1830s, people constructed warehouses and businesses here, and they dug all the way down to bedrock. They removed everything that I was interested in discovering, and they put in factories, workshops, and at different times they brought fill soil in to raise the basement levels up, because the basements must have been pretty foul, wet, smelly, moldy. So in the process of digging, what we found is lots and lots of this stuff, broken brick. Some of this brick actually has been burnt and fused. That was brick damaged during the fire of 1849. In fact, occasionally we find fused matrix. This yellow piece right here is fused matrix that's been burnt together, earth and brick and wood, from that great fire of 1849. The fire did not burn this building down, but it burnt buildings down just a block away. And what they did was they cleaned up that mess and they brought a lot of that fill and they dumped it in the basement of this building here at 700 North 1st Street. Lots of burnt wood, lots of burnt coal, very common artifacts in the matrix of the soil. These are things we didn't say because they really weren't man-made important diagnostic features. We did find a lot of glass, we found a lot of broken china, we found lots of rusted square nails, all those we've saved, the ones that are diagnostic, we photographed, we took elevations and measurements on them so we can relate them to the various features in the site. Now, a big question for an archeologist is, do we need to keep on digging? At this location, my answer is no. That is, our purpose was not met by what we found in the dirt. And it doesn't appear to be the fact that there's going to be surviving soil deposits of either the French city of St. Louis or the Native American mound community. So we made some nice discoveries. But in terms of being able to push our envelope of knowledge, this site's probably reached its maximum potential. So next week, we'll take a bulldozer. We'll push all this dirt back into the hole. We dug it all out by hand, but it's all going to go back in by equipment. And then we'll put grass seed back on to restore this piece of land to its original purpose. And that just is a grassy field here in the middle of the downtown area. And maybe we'll have a chance in another year or two to test out another lot in this part of the city of St. Louis to look for the evidence of the early French settlement and even more importantly, the Native American settlement in the area.